Here is the first part of the video series that brings information about the only moon that we have on earth. Today we are going to present 10 basic facts about the moon. What is the moon? The moon is earth's only natural satellite. It is a large natural object that orbits or travels around earth. After the sun it is the brightest object in the sky. Together with Earth it forms the Earth-Moon satellite system. In the solar system it is the fifth largest satellite, larger than any of the known dwarf planets and the largest satellite of a planet relative to the planet. What is the Moon made of? Science is still learning about the composition of the Moon. The Moon can be divided into the crust, mantle and core just like Earth. The crust, the moon's outer shell, is covered by lunar soil, also called regolith. It is a blanket of fine rock particles, varying between 3 and 20 meters deep. Moon's regolith comes from meteor impacts as the surface is blasted into fine pieces. The crust also contains largely of a rock called anorthosite, which is rich in oxygen, silicon, calcium, and aluminum. Moon's mantle is roughly 1,000 kilometers thick, the mantle was once liquid magma and the source of the intense volcanic activity that led to the formation of the lava plains on its surface. As the magma cooled down, this process stopped. The center of the moon has a solid iron core with a temperature of between 1,327 degrees Celsius and 1,427 degrees Celsius. This is hot enough to create a surrounding molten liquid iron outer core, but not hot enough to warm the surface. How far is the moon from Earth? The moon definitely seems close because we can see it so well without a telescope. But it's farther away than most people realize. The distance between the moon and the Earth averages 384,400 kilometers, which is about 30 Earths away. The moon is not always the same distance away from Earth. Since the moon's orbit is not a perfect circle, its distance varies. At its farthest point, known as Apogee, it is 405-696 km away. Apo means away. At its closest point, known as Perigee, it is only 363-104 km away. Peri means near. How did the moon form? There are various theories about how the moon was created. The most widely accepted today is the giant impact theory. The evidence indicates the moon formed during a collision between the Earth and another small planet, about the size of Mars. The debris from this impact collected in an orbit around Earth to form the moon. The Earth and the moon are so similar in composition. Researchers have concluded that the impact must have occurred about 95 million years after the formation of the solar system, give or take 32 million years. There are several other ideas for the moon's formation. These include the concept that the Earth captured the moon, that the moon fissioned out of the Earth or even that Earth may even have stolen the moon from Venus. Is the moon moving away from the Earth? Yes, the moon is gradually moving away from the Earth at the rate of about 3.78 cm per year. It is about the same speed at which our fingernails grow. The moon is moving away from Earth because it is being pulled by the Earth's tidal bulge. 3.78 cm may not seem like much. But this small difference over a long enough period of time could affect life on Earth, making the planet slow down. Just like keeping a plate spinning on a stick, the key is to have the plate spinning fast. If it slows down it crashes to the floor. In a similar way, as the Earth's rotation slows down, our whole planet may start to slowly wobble and this will have a devastating effect on our seasons. Without the Moon, the Earth could slow down enough to become unstable, but this would take billions of years and it may never happen at all. The moon is kept in orbit by the gravitational force that the Earth exerts on it. But the moon also exerts a gravitational force on our planet and this causes the movement of the Earth's oceans to form a tidal bulge. When the moon first formed, it was much closer to the Earth. 
Astronomers believe it was about 12 times closer than it is now, which means it would have been much larger in the night sky. However, our only natural satellite, the Moon, is actually moving away from Earth. Its orbit is getting larger every year. How big is the Moon? The Moon may appear quite large, but that is only because it is our closest celestial body. The Moon's mean radius is 1,737.5 km and the mean diameter is 3,475 km. The Moon is a bit more than one quarter the size of Earth. Earth's Moon is the fifth largest Moon in the Solar System. The Moon's surface area is about 14.6 million square miles, which is less than the total surface area of the continent of Asia. The Moon weighs about 80 times less than Earth. What is the temperature on the Moon? There is only very thin atmosphere on the Moon. It means the Moon cannot trap heat or insulate the surface. Because of this, the Moon's temperature varies greatly between day and night. Daytime temperatures near the lunar equator reach a boiling 250 degrees Fahrenheit, while nighttime temperatures get to a chilly minus 208 degrees Fahrenheit. How does the moon shine? The moon is our bright, shining neighbor. But did you know that the moon would also be just another dull orb if not for the sun's rays? The moon does not make its own light. Instead, the light we see from the moon is really sunlight that is reflected from the moon's surface. Sometimes moon seems to shine very brightly. But the moon reflects only between 3 and 12 percent of the sunlight that hits it. Is there an atmosphere on the moon? Until recently, most scientists thought that there was no atmosphere on the moon. But recent studies have confirmed that there is one. Recent studies confirm that our moon does indeed have an atmosphere consisting of some unusual gases, including sodium and potassium, which are not found in the atmospheres of Earth, Mars or Venus. It's an infinitesimal amount of air when compared to Earth's atmosphere. The moon's very thin atmosphere, known as an exosphere, contains helium, argon, neon, ammonia, methane and carbon dioxide. Where this atmosphere comes from is still not known. What is a blue moon? The answer to this question is a bit complicated. A blue moon is what people call the second of two full moons that appear during the same month. It doesn't actually look blue. A second full moon can appear within the same month because full moons occur about every 29.5 days. So if a full moon occurs in the first day or two of a month, except for February, a second full moon can occur during one of the last days of that month as well. There is also a second, older definition of a blue moon. According to the older definition, a blue moon refers to the third full moon in a season that has four full moons. <laughs>